Welcome back, my duelist friends. Casual Duelist here. It is Tuesday, so of course, happy Tuesday. Uh, we got three really cool decks for you this week. Today, we're going to be doing the first of these three. Uh, today is going to be that Gilosaurus Tech on Thursday, guys. Look forward to another way to play Gearfried. And this Saturday, uh, it was requested, could we make Dark Magician Girl like kind of pop and stand out and do something in the locals tournament? So we will be building for that strength level. So if you're into any or all of these, you know, keep, keep, keep coming back. We're, we got some stuff for you. Of course, if there's something you want to see before I get to it naturally, go ahead, just request it. We'll do it. Um, today's deck, Gilosaurus. Okay, I did this whole speed duel spotlight on this thing Sunday. Uh, this card is amazing, and I said you needed to play it. So I couldn't decide which of these three new skills I wanted to use. I mean, I, I kind of want to use Mind Control Joey, because to me, it's like the best one. So like, let's talk about these other two first. First up is the Kaiba Corp Research skill. So once per duel, shuffle a monster from your graveyard back into the main deck. Send one card from the hand to the graveyard. During the next draw phase, draw two instead of one. Um, the way that I built this deck, I don't think it needs too much help, so this is just a great card for it. Again, flip this over when you activate the skill. So again, nah, they don't, don't really know which of the kind of skills you're going to be running, which is nice. Uh, my least favorite out of these three is going to be the Collector skill from Rare Hunter. Again, flip this over when you activate this. The way a Collector works is once per duel, if your opponent controls a monster, which is going to be often. Discard two cards with different card types, Monster, Spell, and Trap. Then add one card from your deck to the hand of the third type. Um, so again, this kind of helps you. So like if you need to search out like a uh, like if you need to search out like a monster or something, or you really need to get your trap, or there's one spell and you just want to make sure that you get it, this is a great way to sort of rig it. Um, these are not, by the way, my favorites for this. My favorite for this is going to be the mind control Joey. You flip this over when you activate it. This is Malicious Motivation. So this is essentially uh, it, Merrick influencing the streets of Battle City. Once per duel, if your opponent has three monsters, if your opponent has three monsters, discard a card, then destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Uh, for the rest of this turn, any damage that you take is halved. The only reason that this one is my favorite is because it just has like this total comeback theme to it. And... Uh, Honestly, uh, without being able to like token spam the opponent's side of the field, um, this is still going to be a good card. So like, I just I prefer this one for the fun factor. Obviously, the Kaiba Corp research is actually probably the most useful, uh, and then collector's still not bad. But you guys get to choose. You guys can use any one of these three skills because this deck is meant to just basically work without the skill. If that makes any sense. Uh, moving into the main deck and its list, of course, we're going to knock our three ofs off the list right off the rip. We're going straight into triple copies of Cyber Dragons if the opponent controls a monster we don't. Go get the special summon. Again, what I love about this, if the opponent's already got their three monsters, you go Cyber Dragon, uh, Gila Source, and then Normal Summon, whatever. You're, you're talking about being able to then Malicious Motivation, Field Wipe, and then, yes, it's half damage, but, like, is half enough at that point. It will be when we're done. Uh, but again, Cyber Dragon, first and foremost, play three. Uh, next up was my boy Gilosaurus. Again, if you guys missed the uh, the video, uh, it was on this Sunday. Uh, just go ahead, check it out. It'll be on the channel forever. Um, Gilosaurus can special summon itself from the hand with no prompting. If it chooses to do so, the opponent gets to uh, perform the following effect. They get to choose a monster in the discard pile and bring it back. Now, again, much in the same way we just talked about going Cyber Dragon first before the Malicious Motivation, you can even do the Gilosaurus before it, and it doesn't matter if they have anything in the graveyard either. This could actually be a great way to run their side of the field up. Because remember, like I said, we don't really have token spam for the opponent's side of the field. We don't have like Ojama Duo, Ojama Trio, or nothing like that. So this actually works crazy well. To just go ahead, pop the third monster to their side of the field to then wipe it out. Um, and again, it's it's sort of synergistic, and you guys kind of understand why I put the malicious motivation as being my top skill. And then last up, I just wanted to have Captain because there's sometimes where like maybe you've already used the malicious motivation, 
and uh, maybe you need to get the Gila source to the board and you've got Captain and, you know, it's, it's still a big one too. For the most part, all of these cards will play each other um, and they can all be summoned in the same round. Uh, the one caveat here is with Captain, you do have a technical soft lock here. As long as the only monsters that you control are Captains, um, as they your opponent cannot target another warrior while these exist face up on the field for attacks. So again, you have two of them. It doesn't matter if they're an attack or defense. It doesn't matter what they have, they can't attack through. But as soon as we have another monster card, the only thing that they can attack is the Gilasaurus. And then after that, of course, the attacks go back to being very stagnant to due to the soft lock of the Captain Wall. Um, again, when normal summon, you can special summon a level 4 lower monster card. It's pretty self-explanatory. A lot of us already know the effect. Um, moving into the spells. Again, we already ripped our three ofs when we did the uh, Cyber Dragon, so we don't get any, get any Cosmic Cyclones. Instead, we are going to use a full flight of Night Beam. And again, Night Beam is going to be really good. This deck is kind of one-sided. It's basically Swarm and Strike. So we need, we need something that's going to help us out because we are being very one-dimensional here. And Night Beam is going to stun the card we're targeting so it can't flip in response. This can take out a lot of threats. Um, the only thing we really lose out on here is the quick play aspect of the Cosmic Cyclone. Again, you guys could drop a Cyber Dragon if you wanted. Uh, if you did that, though, I'd probably put a Breaker in there. Uh, I'd probably still keep the three ofs to the monsters. Um, we do have a quick one of. Uh, we are running our offerings to the doomed again. Uh, pretty one-dimensional. We need to make sure our monsters stay where we want them. Uh, two copies of Shrink for the quick play, uh, you know, damage reduction. Uh, so as long as we have the field space open during our battle phase, or this is already phased down during our opponent's turn, we'll either activate it from the hand or as a trap card to our opponent. Um, and then our last spell that we're going to run Three copies, United We Stand. And this, again, is just insane. So when you're dealing with a malicious motivation, remember, all your damage is halved. If you have a full side of three yourself through the use of the Cyber Dragon, the Gilosaurus, and the Captains, and again, maybe you just went uh, Cyber Dragon, double Gilosaurus, get the two special summons back out of the opponent's graveyard to wipe the board with the trap, that's fine. Uh, but what we're going to be dealing with is Will the United We Stand be enough when halved? Because when we have three monsters, this is worth 2,400 points on a single equip, which during that turn is worth 1,200 points. Um, and so again, this could make you hedge your bets. Of course, in that scenario, you have two Gila sources, so that's only going to be 1,400 attack. Cyber Dragon at 1050, so that's uh, 2,450, 2,450, 36, yeah, like 3,650. Um, so you will fall just like a tiny bit short, unless, of course, you had two United We Stands. Uh, no rules against it, right? Um, to round the uh, main out to 20, we're just going to use two copies of Lost Wind. Again, special summoning is going to be very, very common. As you can see, it's it's most of what I'm doing in this deck. And uh, every other deck should be doing it, too. Um, real quick, guys, go ahead, take the notes. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to kind of like separate those three for you just in case you're doing a screenshot instead but go ahead take the notes i'll be back with the rest of it in just a moment all right now starting with the extra deck guys you already know what it is so it is the generic good stuff best card most tech card best uh piercing damage uh biggest attack with spot destruction best card to collapse out the opponent's zones one of the most technical plays in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. again Speed Duel, my extra deck doesn't change much unless the main deck requires it. Um, the way this deck plays, my side, I'm still running the Double Dahlgren like I did in my last build. And again, it comes back down to that skill, Malicious in Motivation. Uh, if I can go ahead and change your monster into something big, it may not matter so much as what the monster was before I did that. That, that other monster may have done something, whatever. Um... Malicious Motivation still going to go ahead and wipe the field. Um, one thing it can do is if I go ahead and do this, and then I got the Gilosaurus, maybe you only had two monsters. Now you've got one in the discard pile. You're going to feel almost obligated to put that monster back on the field and go, wow, you're stupid. You, you gave me a big kaiju and allowed me to play my card back? Yeah, because, you know, get trot. 
Um, it is what it is, right? Uh, I do have my two ups slinking around here in the side. So I am packing two Jinzo boys. Now, to me, this is just like a quick swap. If you're adding these, I always take out the two traps. Um, but the reason for the Jinzo, again, like I said, I almost don't need my skills when playing this one because it's just kind of fun. Everything sort of works. I do have three threes, two twos, and a one of the ones. Um, we do a, a bunch of goofy, crazy stuff. Um, but Jinzo does take out a good portion of the game. Um, as far as like a lot of traps, but again, people are still sort of playing Jinzo, so maybe there's not a whole lot of traps. Um, I play him because he's a good tribute monster. Um, and again, it, it lets me do things off of the Gilosaurus or the Cyber Dragon. Um, getting him to the field is never difficult in this deck. And uh, again, sometimes the payoff is just better. Um, and then last but not least, you guys already know these two are coming. Uh, two copies waking the dragon. And again, there's no negative interactions with me playing these while playing Jinzo because this resolves not on the field, not face up. It resolves either in the banish pile or in the discard pile. Um, and again, this is going to give us access to literally every monster in our extra deck. Technically, we could play Dahlgren to our own side off of the effect for that. So if we just needed a 3k beater, not that if you needed a beater, you wouldn't just go for Blue Eyes Ultimate or, you know, Cyber End. Um, obviously, there are better options. That's why this deck is laid out the way that it is. But this deck is fun. This deck is cool. And again, it just it does everything that, like early Yu-Gi-Oh was good for this is basically that like I'm gonna I'm gonna change the title it's no longer Gilosaurus Tech okay that's not the that's not the title you guys saw that drew, drew you here but I'm changing the title right now because on my note card it definitely says that uh, I'm going to change this to uh, my Gilosaurus toolbox or uh, something like that and it, it plays very much like a toolbox deck should and would um, it just does a lot of fun things, and it's super fun to play. Reminds me of, like, early 2000s. I'm talking the first three years of the game. Very early Yu-Gi-Oh. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you guys have, consider, you know, supporting the channel. This way, we'll just keep making you guys videos. How do you support us? Well, you're already doing it. Uh, so you're watching, which is a big part. Uh, if you guys give us a thumbs up, that's always good. That feels good. It helps with the algorithm. Same thing with comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, maybe this is the first time you've been here, at which point, welcome. Uh, hopefully you'll be back again. Uh, maybe subscribe. Maybe you were subscribed already. What else could you do? Well, you guys could click the notifications. Not everybody has the notifications clicked. It is a thing. Uh, sometimes people get my videos like a week later and they're like, wow, I wish I had that before I went to locals. And, you know, if they would have subbed, they would have had it. Um, outside of that, I do have the buy me a coffee link. It'll be down there below. That is just something you can do if you want to. Don't ever feel pressured to do that. Feel pressured to give me a like and a comment though, but not really. Um, you guys go out, enjoy your day. I will be back on Thursday with the new gear free build. Okay. And again, it's a pairing of some of the old cards with the new cards. I think you guys are going to really dig it. Um, see you then later.